Leo Palmer had a party trick, although even he knew it wasn't much of a showstopper. He could calculate on any given day exactly how long it would take the 457 bus to get from the city centre to his stop at Ingleby, adjusting for traffic, weather and an array of other complications. He could do it for other routes too, but that was barely of interest to him, let alone other people. He demonstrated it once at his office Christmas party. He figured a bunch of accountants would appreciate something like that. His colleagues had been unenthusiastic, but that was a fairly natural state for accountants. Leo didn't mind. It was the numbers that he found fascinating. The people were a distant second. Well, that wasn't entirely true. There were two people he cared about more than any numbers, more than a balance sheet, more than the timetable of the 457. His wife and his young son belonged at the top of this particular ledger, and as far as Leo Palmer was concerned, that's where they'd stay. All of this was somewhat standard fare, to be honest. An accountant with a fondness for numbers was pretty normal. So, too, a family man who loved his wife and son. In fact, Leo's life was actually quite ordinary, which is really the point. Leo and Elise Palmer were average. They didn't do anything to be singled out for what was to come. They just were. Of course, like any normal couple, they had their fights. They had one on the very day they signed the lease for their one-bedroom flat. Ground floor, weathered bricks and a cracked concrete path with dandelions that came up to their knees. Jesus Christ, you're a tight ass, Leo, Elise had exclaimed as she gazed at their new home. She was only half joking, and her husband rolled his eyes. You knew that when you married me, he retorted, tugging at one of the weeds with both hands.